So I see that when you buy the Macintosh 600, you're just buying this right here, and you put stuff with it. Absolutely. Oh, I see. This is it here. Mm -hmm. Comes with a 160 meg hard drive and four megabytes. Of has the extended uh, keyboard. And a laser also. printer. She wants a laser printer. Mm -hmm. okay. But the laser printer isn't Macintosh. Uh, you can get a Macintosh laser printer, sure. Mm -hmm. It's called the uh, Apple Laser Right. Uh -huh. $1,900 just for this? Uh huh. $1,900 just for this? Comes comes with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> and I gotta buy the printer, the keyboard. Oh, it comes with a keyboard. Sure. And I gotta buy the, the printer and. Yeah. How much is a laser printer then? They're around seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine mm -hmm. for a laser. Mm -hmm. Is this mm -hmm. better? This is nineteen ninety nine. This is well, better. you know, it has a faster processor. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the sixty eight zero thirty chip running at thirty two megahertz. Yeah. And you've got to buy the the you know the thing to put the disc in separate to? No, actually, it's right here, built in. This does come with a version. Uh, it's called the six hundred CD, and it comes with a built in CD ROM. Mm -hmm. So in other words, the guy's got to do a lot of thinking what he wants. Fortunately, uh, somebody... So you can buy speakers for it too? Uh-huh. And put them on, save them to the hard drive. You mean you can take a movie and they'll put it on the hard drive mm -hmm. and you can show it back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. There it is right here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will cut it all out. <laughs> I don't think so. I'll let you listen to your watch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking seriously about it, only I'm going to also need an instructor to go along with it. <laughs> See how that works? $13.99 for the CPU, the keyboard, and the yeah, mouse. Okay. And then the monitor runs for about $384 as it is. The Apple has been advertised as the most adaptable to kids and stuff. It is. As well it's the as easiest, the most user-friendly. It's, it's basically the yeah. most user-friendly from the standpoint of what it can or cannot do. Uh -huh. If you're going to be doing a lot of DOS, I don't recommend the Apple. Okay, go to an IBM. It's much better for you to stay with the system you're going to be using. Right. But how about the kids? See, my... my the kids are very easily, you know, they adapt. Oh, sure. Kids, much easier than we do. Yeah, we have kids that come in four or five years old. They've seen Macintosh at school. They jump onto an IBM and they find things quickly. Yeah, yeah. so days. if it were you, which would you... Well, first off, I'd want to know is what... What type of programs are your husband using right now? Or is he using a computer at all? From a business standpoint, the IBM still has more of a stronghold. Not necessarily from what it can do, but from what most people in society are using. They're mostly using the IBMs. Yeah, you're going to have to be compatible with other people that are doing the same thing. Right. If you go with an Apple, and it turns around that a majority of the software produced by the chiropractic firms is IBM. You're gonna hate yourself. You really will. That's a true statement. 